please invite the man that needs no introduction at our introduction at Akura, Mr. Jeanette, who is the second longest serving principal of Tifa Heading of Idiot School. Please give him a big cup of coffee as he comes to the stage. everybody. Um, I was going to say what in it, but it's almost it's almost lunchtime, and I'm just going to just chop and change. But I'd firstly just like to um, acknowledge and um, thank her worship, the mayor, for coming. Um, uh, also, our councillors and uh, Henry and uh, Kelly, distinguished guests, um, ex um, old boys, old girls all the parents that are here and um, staff of course how could i forget you and the kids uh, absolutely fantastic i'm just going to just wander around a little bit because it's a little bit i'm, I'm a little bit sweaty so i'm just going to zip in and, and, and talk very very quickly things have been said and they're all very very true um, and i'll just refer back to these notes very very quickly because i'm I know Mrs. T, she said, don't you talk too long. You've got the talking stick, you be very, very careful. Um, it is such a privilege and a pleasure to come back um, to, um, I call it PT, but it is Tifa Hedinger, and I love the name, and I think it's absolutely where we need to be. So um, there are too many memories, really. Um, lots of laughs, um, good times, sometimes not so good times when I was walking around at two o'clock in the morning, I'm sure Mr. Brown used to do, police were here, some, somebody had broken a window, but that tended to change over the years and that was wonderful and that was a good thing because that was telling us all about our community and what was happening and it was a good thing that was happening. Um, some people I'd just like to thank just very, very quickly and these are the people that brought me to Peterhead School and that was Mr. Brown, Mr. Pera Johnson, um, Mrs. Karen Hyatt, and Mrs. Sue Ginty, who came down to a little place just out of Palmerston North, Newbury School, and I don't know whether they wondered what they got when they saw me or whatever it was, but it was the best thing that ever happened, and I just want to acknowledge that and thank you for that um, from the bottom of my heart. Um, it really did change my life and my family's life. Um, the opportunities were absolutely superb, so I'm very, very grateful for that. The school had a great feel to it when I got, when I first got in here, and it's still got that feel. You go to schools, and sometimes they, you, there's no feeling to them. They're just, they're just schools. You come to Peterhead, you come to Tifa Heringa, and it's you can feel the vibe, you can feel the energy, and that's what it's all about. The well-mannered children, the people, it's alive. All right, it's alive with life, and that's, I just think that's just, you cannot buy that, and that is something special, something very, 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 um, uh, something that you should hang on to for a long, long time if you can, all right, and I know you will. Um, with this job does come a little bit of responsibility to not only the children, but to Fano and to our community, all right, but it is a responsibility um, as Tinika said, that is 24-7. And it's only now that I start realising that after I've left it. Um, but you do tend to live this. It becomes part of your life. It becomes part of your DNA. And it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Um, firstly, though, um, Board of Trustees, they are absolutely um, vital to a school. And I have been very, very fortunate over my time um, when... Mr. Pera Johnson, along with Kevin Brett, as I said, uh, came down and um, offered me a job, offered me the job. Um, Pera was marvellous and um, just unfortunate he's not there. He'd be just, you could just imagine him now because I had, had to laugh when he wasn't very, very well and we had a, um, I think it was a um, performance going on and he was sick. and. Um, Tina, who's here, Tina, I'll acknowledge those banana cakes were just amazing and you were just part of that and that was just fantastic. You wanted to know where Pera was and, and, and we said, oh, he, won't, he can't come down here, he's too sick. And um, Tiffany said that to me and I said, well, I, I just passed him, he was just 
he was just walking in, just going for a coffee. And so, remember that, Timothy? Remember that? We couldn't find him, and he was so sick. But he was down here with the kids, waiting, looking at the performance, having a coffee. That's what Peter had meant to, meant to him, and uh, he was amazing. Although, he was only here for a short time, and then his son, Zane, took over as Board of Trustees, chairperson, um, and then Candy Coromandel, Lee Olson, who recently passed away, followed Candy, and then Paletti to Alafata. Paletti's over here now. Um, all visionary, outstanding people um, who gave leadership um, to the school, never losing sight for our children and our learning community. Um, they were excellent. Paletti, I acknowledge you now. I did, I, it was a little chemistry. We got on so well, and so many schools sometimes don't have that chemistry, but we were here for the children, and it was about excellence. Thank you so much for everything that you have done. All right? Um, teachers, DPs over the years, Tinica, oh, goes without saying, all right? Um, Sue Dunn, um, who was here, and Kevin was here, um, Jude Brown, Karen Hyatt, Lee Perry, exceptionally high quality professionals and fabulous people with it. Um, to all the staff, management staff, past and present, I got a text from Kim Whittington. Kim would have loved to be been here, but he's over in Granada in Spain at the moment, and of course, um, very disappointed he's missed this, but sends his regards. Um, so, there were teachers, uh, we talked about Henry, we talked about Jules Mark here for their kapahaka, Peggy Jo Mitai for everything she did, but Sue and Val in, in, the, um, in the office, and I know what you mean, Kevin, they, people thought they ran the school. I don't know what it was, but I know, I know. Um, to um, Lorraine, Lorraine Sanson, who's, uh, Lorraine, it must be 30 or 40 years, and she tells me she, it may be her last year. Amazing, amazing people. Sally Rice, all right, and um, Hawera, thank you so much, too, for your contribution to us. It's amazing and absolutely appreciated. Uh, but this is not, this is, this is our place. Um, those people all made me look good, but when they did make me look good, they made the school look good, and they made the community look good. And lastly, I've just got to really say, we did change a few things. I know Kevin talks about it, I know um, we talk about the change, the evolution, but the AstroTurf, the bike tracks, playgrounds, we pulled out cricket wickets, we put in uh, all kinds of things. There was a softball diamond. Remember for those people that were here, softball diamond? That had to go because of the AstroTurf. Um, it was great. We did it for the kids and um, the school and the, ch and the children's needs that were changing at the time. So that's why those things happened. Um, and really, the last thing I really want to say is when you're a Peterhead kid and when you're here, the expectation is huge. And you guys down there know what I'm talking about. Um, children expect to go out and they expect to do well. And everybody said, oh gee, you're, you're competitive, Mr. Jeanette. And I said, well, yeah, life is competitive though. And it's always nice to do some, you know, some good stuff. It, it makes you feel better when you come back. But really, um, Beach Fives, Rugby, Ross Shield, Wakeley Shields, Barefoot Tens, Super Six competitions, all Peterhead dominated. All right, over the years, netball, Goldsmith Cup. Did we ever lose it? All right, it, it was just an expectation. Um, ski trips, chess. Um, I thought it was third in New Zealand. Kevin, I've gone around all this time, so it was third in New Zealand, but was it second? Oh, I, I've done everybody the service. <laughs> um, uh, the, the big thing is, and I saw it last year when we came back after COVID. It, in the eyes of the children, they they just expected to win when they go out and do things. They got some pretty good um, quality training for those those moments. Of course, we didn't just let them go out and do things, but when they go out, they expect to go well. They um, we armed them with success, and it was just lovely to see all of our children that depart Peterhead and go on to secondary school. And it was marvellous to see Kendall Archeon the other day um, be made um, head girl at Hastings Girls following her um, her um, auntie, so who was here before that. Fantastic. And 
you know, the Ames team that came back, winning the New Zealand title up in Tauranga, they are hard, hard tournaments to do well in. And it's Peter Hitter again doing it, leading the charge, our kids, your kids. Um, and it was just an absolute pleasure um, with a three kitty, a graduate, graduate kākahu, to see that when they leave, they leave with all those skills, all those values, and it just keeps going on. All right. Um, thank you to Mrs. T. Thank you to all the senior management. This is I, it's absolutely huge. Teachers, um, kids, children, absolutely fantastic. Thank you. It's just so good to be here, to, to be part of the celebration and uh, just to enjoy it with you. All right. Um, let's hope we'll do it all again in another 25 years. All right. Radio. Thanks. Lovely. Catch up soon. Thanks.